What is going on, my friends? Vitaly Dubin is here and welcome to another episode of today's in crypto show. Yes, Russia has invaded Ukraine and launching a military attack. Missiles are flowing in the air in different parts of Ukraine. Uh, the, the situation is escalating. The stock market is plunging, uh, not just in Russia, but all around the world. Uh, all prices going up and Bitcoin, of course, also went down today. Let's discuss what is happening right now in the world, what's the situation in Ukraine, and what's happening with the price of Bitcoin, how low it can really go, and what are the zones and areas that you want to be paying attention to closely and accumulate Bitcoin to be a superhero in the next couple of years. And of course, I'll share with you some good news as well, because we cannot just talk about war and bad news and stuff like that. Um, my day has started today quite positively. In fact, I woke up at 4.30 in the morning. I went on a hot air balloon today uh, above the sky, seeing the sunrise. And when I landed, that's when I saw that Russia invaded Ukraine. Well, there is something we've been discussing over the past uh, several days and weeks. And in fact, the first time I heard about it was in December. So it's happening and we're seeing the markets respond. Uh, investors flee to cash. Uh, Ethereum down 11 percent, Bitcoin down 8 percent, BNB down 10 percent, Cardano down 15 percent. The entire crypto market is down about 10%, which is quite a lot, quite a red day today. Uh, you can see what's happening with the stock market. It's uh, plunging. This is the, the line uh, that should not be broken right here. We're already falling a lot for the stock market. And uh, Bitcoin, well, well, we'll come back to Bitcoin exactly for the analysis of what's happening right now. And we'll discuss whether we are really in a, in a full-blown bear market that is going to intensify or the situation with the war and uh, what's happening uh, with the um, uh, geopolitical events, right, is a short-term temporary event and the market will rebound. So first of all, let's start with what's happening with Russia. Putin, the president of Russia, declares war, vows to demilitarize and de uh, denazify Ukraine. Missiles hit targets across Ukraine. We have seven dead people right now that were reported, including civilians. Tanks seen rolling into Ukraine. Um, you can see where those missiles have been bombing in all parts of Ukraine, in, in uh, different uh, cities here, which is doesn't look good at all. Um, we have seen a lot of diplomats, a lot of oligarchs, are, and, and a lot of citizens are trying to flee from the capital of Kiev. A lot of uncertainty right now is in the air. Um, and uh, we are seeing the, the ruble, the, the Moscow Stock Exchange, plummeting uh, more than 45 percent today uh, and and because Russia is producing the the third largest producing of oil in the world it's uh, going up the oil prices so definitely it affects the entire world the situation that we are seeing right now um, here is uh, one home also got affected by the missile there's civilian you can see um, that according to the president of Russia, what his version of what's been happening, right, and why he uh, justifies this type of uh, an attack, right, is because these guys from the eastern border of Ukraine turned to Russia with a request for help. And he said, our actions are self-defense against threats um, and claiming Moscow had no plans to occupy Ukraine. We do not plan to impose ourselves on anyone. And U.S. believes that this is, of course, um, you know, something that he is politically saying, but he is planning to invade. And, um, and, and this is just an excuse 
right? There's a president of uh, Australia, president of uh, France. They're all supporting Ukraine. The Ukrainian government definitely do not want war. Obviously, they do not want war at all. But Russia is acting right now very, very, very aggressively. Um, they're launching special military operation in Ukraine. And they call it a self-defense. They're attacking a lot of missiles. Airport is being evacuated and closed for flights. And they call it a self-defense. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, and the founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, said in Russian, very upset by the Putin's decision to abandon the possibility of peaceful resolution to the dispute with Ukraine and go to war instead. This is a crime against the Ukrainian and Russian people. I want to wish everyone security, although I know that there will be no security glory to Ukraine. Um, so I, I want myself also to wish all the people out there in Ukraine to stay safe uh, so that there is a, a peaceful resolution that will be to this entire situation and conflict in this area that will not escalate to war. Uh, price of oil spiked to $100, right? As Russia is the third largest oil producer in the world. Uh, so the situation is, is not looking good at the moment, right? We're seeing the Today, also, the TVL in DeFi project has been down, has been tanking across all the different chains. There is a lot of uncertainty in the market as Bitcoin is, is, is correlating with all of uh, right now with the um, stock market. But let's take a look at what's really going on. We are falling for the four months in a row. We had uh, a bull trap, essentially. We have an attempted rally. And a violent February as it started a rally <laughs> to the upside and then we have severely got rejected among the fears of a war right which is unfolding right now and we still have four days to go for the price of Bitcoin now looking at the RSI we see that only a couple times the RSI on a monthly were lower than where we are right now it was during the coronavirus crash it was during the lows of the 2018 bear market and it was back in 2015. We have not seen Bitcoin that oversold on a monthly apart from that and what we have right now. So this situation uh, which require you to understand and adapt a much broader and wider and long term perspective on the Bitcoin and crypto markets because this is the this is the line of the sand if you are buying when the markets are fearful that's where the biggest opportunities lie um also i pointed out to you that we have this bearish uh, stochastic rsi down cross right here and whenever we see it happen usually we saw another 50 percent dump uh onto the downside and i also know uh, I also said that the lowest that we can go in this dump, in the worst case scenario, is touching the 200 week moving average line, which is exactly located right now at just over $20,200 and it's rising quickly. So uh, Bitcoin never in the history fell below the 200 week moving average and the week that did, we did fall below this line was this one back in March 2020 and quickly in the very same week we got you know essentially you know close below this right uh, in in this situation so that's kind of the worst case scenario right here but we don't, don't have to be there we don't have to fall there we do have a very strong support right here in the zone of $30,000, $31,000. This is the prices where Tesla were buying Bitcoin. This is the prices where Michael Saylor were buying Bitcoin. So um, I am going to assume that these prices are going to be heavily, heavily supported, just like we have seen back in January 2021. And 
June 2021 in May, July summer crash. Okay, so we'll see, but uh, we are not even there yet. Uh, the bulls are trying to step in right now, defend those prices and not create a lower low for the weekly, which is happening right now. And on the monthly, we are so close to creating a lower low. We have not created a lower low yet, but we are close to doing so right now. We'll see in four days exactly. And also, I, I told you guys to pay attention to the golden zone, which is on a five day chart and the Gaussian channel indicator GC. And you can find this indicator by going to the indicators and type in GC and looking for the Gaussian channel, this one right here, the Gaussian channel indicator. So whenever we are falling below the Gaussian channel, this is a golden opportunity to buy Bitcoin. And we are right now in the Gaussian channel, below the Gaussian channel. This area right here is the golden opportunity to buy Bitcoin right now right uh, all of this area below below the price of 37,000 so do not try to time the market do not try to you know um, catch the lowest of the lowest that we can go because the opportunity is golden right now to pick up some Bitcoin to hold it and to not touch it do not touch it for several years and uh, yeah you, you uh, should be in profit like every time that we have held through the golden zone opportunity it's only a matter of time even during the bear market of 2018 you can see the golden opportunity which was right here yes we fell as low as three thousand five hundred dollars but even if you buy at five thousand seven hundred dollars right here would you complain right now would you complain it's seven X's from where it is right now, the price. So this is the golden zone, the golden opportunity, and we just entered it right now. Um, yeah, so do not anticipate and expect the prices to go lower or try to time the market. Just accumulate and buy. Um, now, let's discuss some of the uh, good news. We have Pantera Capital Hedge Fund CEO Dan Moorhead saying that Bitcoin price is relatively inexpensive place, um, which of course is a good news that you can uh, um, that you can uh, uh, buy into the market. The Fed's manipulation of the U.S. Treasury and mortgage bond market is so extreme that it's now 15 trillion dollars overvalued, right? And um, you can see. We think over the next number of weeks, crypto is basically going to decouple from traditional markets and begin to trade on its own. Crypto tends to be correlated within them with a period of roughly 70 days, so a bit over two months, and then it begins to break its correlation. So it's only a matter of time, only a matter of time. And once people do have a little bit of time to think this through, they're going to realize that if you look at all the different asset classes, blockchain is the best relative asset class in the rising rate environment we're quietly bullish on the market and we think prices are at a relatively inexpensive price so there you go um, of course ruble hits uh, a very 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 all-time low price against the US dollars and as a matter of fact they have been preparing for this they, they've been pulling out uh, of the US dollars so all these sanctions uh, to the Russian is not going to affect them too much, right? But you can see the spike of um, how devalued the Russian um, ruble against the US dollars this morning. Russia woes increased volatility across market, especially Bitcoin. You can see everything has been falling the last two months. Facebook, Tesla, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, everything is falling, not as much as Bitcoin but it's been falling there have been cyber attack hitting ukrainian banks and government websites we don't know if it's from russian side or um, or not but probably from their side um, we see ukraine central banks bans for uh, foreign cash withdrawals that's official now 
let's take a look at a good news. The good news of today is that Mexican senator plans to introduce a bill to make Bitcoin a legal tender following El Salvador making Bitcoin a legal tender. So that's very good for Bitcoin. That's very good for Mexican people and uh, very good for the world uh, passing this bill, right? If we need Bitcoin Mexico to be legal tender, because otherwise, if you do not make the decision as El Salvador made it, it's very difficult to specify action. Yeah. Um, and we have total DeFi addresses are at 4.4 million, up 203% from year to date, which is very bullish on DeFi. And uh, one vending machine in New York City already started to sell Solana NFTs with credit cards. So people can go here, put their credit card and essentially buy NFT on the blockchain, Solana based. Very interesting development, uh, innovation. We have not seen this before. So it's the first type of an NFT ATM in the world. Maybe, maybe it will become more popular, but um, yeah. <laughs> also, I want to point out that we have the Drip network and the Drip community, which is right now trading at $89. Obviously, the whole market has been falling, but the liquidity have not fallen. You can see liquidity of $51.5 million overall. Uh, on the drip BUSD and we have a pretty good dip just like the entire market is in the dip and yeah you can see right now we are about a 40% dip okay it's very similar to what we have seen going on here a 40% dip and right here a 40% dip and after those dip we have seen a big correction to the down i mean a big rally to the upside so right now is that time this golden time if you've been on the sidelines to uh, buy some drip and stake it for the long term to experience those uh staking rewards and if you want to learn how all of this works then head over to deflationarydailyri.com watch the webinar watch the interviews and get yourself set up uh, with this amazing vehicle that you can leverage even during the bear markets because of the compounding effect all right so um, that's pretty much what i wanted to share with you guys today uh, we are in a very attractive prices as a whole in the cryptocurrency market because of this invasion that is happening in ukraine right now and uh, and uh, fears that it will develop into a full-fledged war in uh, Europe. Uh, so that's the situation that is right now. Is it a full, you know, is it a start of a bear market? We definitely see some um, signs that it might be, right? That it might be, if you look at the MACD, for example, on a monthly, we saw a cross on the macd indicator the moving average convergence divergence indicator right here uh, this cross that i pointed out as well a couple weeks ago and uh, we saw this red today you can see right here this cross and this redness so will it be something like this which is bear market for you can see how many months a bear market that ended right here or will be something like this a little bit of down movement like we have in March and then come back to the green area we'll see we'll see but um, uh, uncertainty right now and once again if you are going to get into the buy the golden zone area even if the price goes down if you have a long-term perspective of a couple years, you are going to be in a very good timing that you are buying in this golden area. That's what I want to share with you today. I hope you stay safe and everything is going to be okay. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Today in Crypto Show.